This is the official trial of the DBS student experience student experience blog podcast. <laughs> podcast. podcast. Adam Crowther, I am the team lead for the student experience here at Dublin Business School and this week I'm joined by the very entertaining and very lovely Hamza who's actually not here but I've actually come by two, <laughs> two other people this week. Uh, I'm joined by uh, Joanne O'Donnell who is a disability and inclusion officer. Mm-hmm. Is that correct? Yep, that's me. Uh, that's a, a long-winded title. Mm-hmm. And uh, a former, former VP of of the Students' Union as well, which mm-hmm. is great. And uh, we're also joined by the lovely Iris Pebredo, who is the former uh, Students' Union, uh, sorry, is our current Hi, international Ruth. officer, our study abroad officer at Hi. DBS, and uh, previous uh, Students' Union officer. And I suppose we're going to have a, a quick trial of this today, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So the first of our podcast, I know you ladies are probably very excited. It's quite <laughs> nervous as well, I don't yeah. know why. It why is, it's nervous? nerve-wracking. I am, no. I think it'll be, it'll be fine. But we are on camera as well, so yeah. it was just very interesting. Um, so we're going to make a podcast. We said we'd always do it, and uh, we've now got a, a lovely podcast room. So yeah. it's a great opportunity. Um, actually, we have a podcast room with the air conditioning off. So we yeah. don't know how long we're going to last in this very, uh, very warm room. Yeah, but 25, 26 degrees. It's hot today. In here, but um, I suppose. Let's just pretend this is going to go to all the new students. So, um, I suppose very quickly, what yep. is your go-to thing to do in Dublin on a hot day? Just oh, to start off, that's my wow. go-to. Lightning round, <laughs> lightning round. What is your go-to thing to do? Is, I think it has to be pints. Is it get out of the city or stay in the city? Stay in, go in the city. Stay, so into you, town, have a pint yeah. on the street. The street, yeah. yeah. There's a good vibe. We yeah. had a, there's a Definitely. good vibe. Sitting Stephen's Green with yeah, a takeaway cocktail. Park. and Yeah, Where St. Dan's Park too is a good one. It's the big yeah. fields sit yeah. under mm-hmm. the kind of rugby posts. Few, okay. few um, well, wines. Dublin in the sun is nothing like it, am I right? There isn't, but it's a lot. We're not prepared for it, I don't think, no. even today. My God. <laughs> you both have, you have a very long dress on. Yeah, <laughs> I was melting. I'm burnt. I'm really burnt. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it, but I really am burnt. You're going to have a nice you. Yeah, yeah, a lovely, yeah. yeah. yeah lovely, uh, exactly what I wanted. Line. But, um, and Iris, what, what about you? What's your go-to thing? Pints Same in as town. well, pints in town. Maybe a cocktail instead of a So pint. if you're outside town, do you come to the city? Like, to, you know? I'd say so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and dining out. If not, go to the closest park to your house. Or the seafront. Or the seafront, or the beach, the closest out there area mm. to you. Because I'm I'm like, I need to get out of the city. It's mm. just, I need to be, mm. it's just cooler. Mm. Now, I, I kind of live coastal, so it's, I just need to be there. Yeah. I, I, I'd be apprehensive to get out after mm. work, you know, because it's just too warm. Yeah. But it's lovely. People cycle around, it is so living, cool. living the dream. But... Anyway, that was my lightning round. So, <laughs> into the city is the unanimous decision here, and it's out, out of the city for me. But anyway, so, we're going to do a little test today uh, for all of our listeners or whatever, and uh, we're going to see how it goes. So, they're going to, I think you're going to ask me, are we, or is this, is this going to be a shared, shared uh, trial of questions? Oh, these are very deep. They okay. are. Oh, I got a first one. So, if you had... A hundred million to spend, and there was no red tape about what you could spend it on. What would you spend 100 it on? A hundred million. Hundred million. Jesus, that's plenty. You, oh. wouldn't, you wouldn't even know what to do with all that money. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, you, you would probably buy something nice somewhere. Like, like it would probably something nice. Like so, what? So that's that small. could be yeah, absolutely that's anything. No. Is that a snack or a snack? <laughs> <laughs> it would be a. You would buy a nice house or a nice car. I think that would yeah. be a, that would be. You know, something that you, you would have to do and mm-hmm. be able to enjoy that. But um, somewhere where you could bring all your friends and mm-hmm. have a crazy time in good, good weather. I think that would be... Yeah, you could like plan. buy an island with that. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Could you buy an island with 100 million? Buy an island, call it DBS. I'd buy Ireland's eye. Ireland's eye, yeah. And, oh, and, that'd and that'd I'd be like... Sunny. I'd fly like loads of giraffes over. Like, and they'd yes. literally just have it as giraffe Ireland. Like Ireland. Giraffe Island. And... 
<laughs> You'd be the king of the island. So, like, to be a king of an island would be pretty pretty special. I don't know. So if you forget can. about the hundred can, million. You can just can I, to be king of can the I identify as a king, and then if I have a if it's your own, yeah, it's your island. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! He's oh, here. Here, we go. here, we go. here is the famous oh, Hamza. Hamza. recording, Hamza. Oh, so, okay. our draft podcast has just been um, has just been ambushed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, is too short <laughs> to pull down the green screen. Oh, he just pulled out the break it. Just break it. Just break it. There you go. Hello, just need to We've got the showstopper. Face reveal. We've got the showstopper here. Here we go. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so th- as, as I said, this is the student experience podcast. So if there is anything that defines the student experience at DBS, it is random, crazy things happening at any given time. No more than getting getting uh, the interference from the lovely Hamza, who is joining us now. Um. But yeah, so so I think that would that would be what I would do. One. It would yeah. be a giraffe a giraffe island in um giraffe island of Ireland's eye would be my go to plan uh, for that. So uh yeah. Hamza, we need to ask you a question. Sure, far away. We have the same So the one mic or? is here, so I'll be directing. No, I think a different one. Where is <laughs> I feel like we're on Love Island. No, we are on Love Island. I've got Dex. I can't believe you said that. Hamza, <laughs> what is your best tip for making the world a better place? <laughs> Alright, I'll come back to me on that. No, These are have, tough this ass questions. Make it, this is a quick fire. I don't, think you, I don't think you can do a whole thing like that. I think if you make your own environment and the place that you are acceptable, you'll be fine. If everyone looks after themselves <laughs> and the say? people... It's like he said words, but nothing acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but as in, if you're if you make your surroundings right as well as you can, and the people you surround yourself with, and the things that you do in your life, and bring, and, everyone, up. And bring everyone and people around you will come up, and you'll come up. Yeah. But because you can't go out with that whole thing of I'm going to change seven billion people. Yeah. Is, that, is, is that the book? So, so for all you kids out there, stay in school. Okay. <laughs> stay in school. Love that. So I have a question for you guys. Yeah. What is I know we've got one current student, but what is, so let's say potentially new students might be uh, listening to this podcast. So what would, um, what's your most memorable one experience from your time in college at Dublin Business School? It can be an event, it can be mm-hmm. something you achieved, it can be something you've done, it can be an away trip, it can be something in class, mm-hmm. something with a friend, a day in day, it can be anything. What's one thing? you'll say, oh my God, that was very funny or very fulfilling or very, you know, you look back and you have lots of photos and, and you always I know. always have the same answer and it's Go for always it. Tanzania. Mm. I Tanzania. I just always oh, say it. Like it's the whole yeah. thing. I just don't think anything could ever top that. Like imagine I joined that year Yeah. and Jill it's was like, I'm going to Tanzania with SU. I wasn't on the SU and I was like, oh, like, I don't really know them. Like, mm. And then I kind of had met you in the corridor and stuff and I was like, you know what? I'll just go. What am I going to lose? I'll just yeah. travel across the world with people I don't know. Mm. And it was the best thing I ever did and that's how I'm like here right now still. Wow. So oh, it just God. brought me all to the SU and then mm. to here. And who, so you never leave who, once you go in. Who yeah. twisted your arm? What was the big, this, was it Jill bringing you to the meeting or was it James I Burke kind of talking nonsense? I think it was Jill and a bit of James Burke coming in okay. being like, oh, I think I wanted to do something different. I had been to Trinity. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I didn't really do anything there. And I remember being like, oh, what a waste of time. I didn't really yeah. do much in college. And then I came here, and although everyone was way younger than me, I was like, I'll go. I'll, 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 I'll go. Yeah. And then I made loads of friends. But you had a very good group. Like there was yeah. Kieran Mackey, Dylan McMahon. Yeah, Laura Sheen, even though I did not oh, like her. Maria Hunt, Hunt and yeah. Megan. Like you yeah, there was a, a strong group. group. Yeah. Like that was, I think, one of the strongest um, periods of. Like kind of student identity, like, like, kind of thing. Good, yeah. yeah, there was a good sports, spirit there. It was all scholarship was really active yeah. and yeah. strong across mm-hmm. a lot of sports, and yeah. um, it was just yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to the camera. Oh, she's um, what about that? But I that's thinking the camera's there, but it's actually there. It's actually I there. Know, I don't know why. Um, there. Okay, well, I suppose that's pretty significant, that isn't is, it? Yeah, um, it okay, uh, uh, Iris, would you have something? You know, you know, to that scale. I don't know. I feel like there's so many different little memories I've had since. I first joined mm. from the holidays. Lanzarote was huge for me. That was like, yeah. that was... Because you were quite young then. I was like, very you were, young you know, and I didn't know, know I didn't want to go, but my sister was like, oh, you have to go. You really have to go. Mm. And I was like, I don't want to go. I don't know anyone. <laughs> um, but that was... So this was a surf trip for, week yeah, for international during, surf fret, trip. during reading week. Yeah. 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 That was good. Um, our international week is always big for me. 
Mm. Um, I just love seeing how proud everyone is of their culture. Yeah. And one memory that I love, 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 like looking back on is the Diwali festival we've had. Mm. Mm-hmm. And they brought in food and yeah. there were, um, they, we dancers. had traditional dancers. Yeah. Yeah. All, and then afterwards, the everyone just started dancing. And I thought that was just so much fun. Yeah. So, That's so pretty. much fun. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you don't get that every day in college. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. And it's 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 and it, what, what I love about it is that everyone gets involved and makes makes mm. kind of, you know makes things happen, yeah. which is great. Um, Hamza. Uh, well, she took Tanzania already, so I'm not going to pull that down. But I, I would Tanzania. say the first award. Why did I forget you were in Tanzania? Yeah. I just I, I, I just stay low key. <laughs> well, I'm I'm so so bad. Bad. Yeah. He never really. Uh, well, he never I know Joanne was in talking. Tanzania. Joanne, where were you in Tanzania? I was there. I was. Signing around the place. Actually, no. Definitely... As I story, Joanne's first ever event that she just randomly appeared at was happening in the evening time before she went to class. Yeah, and Jill introduced us, us yeah. and I was like, "Oh, we need so for the for the fake wedding." And we were like, "Oh, Joanne, do you want to be in the fake wedding?" And she was like, "Okay, cool." So she went from a random participant to then being the one of the bridesmaids to then being the aunt and it's like, like she just got promoted like I just right kept giving like, things being like yeah, yeah I'm walking up the aisle with flowers and I, like, I don't know who anyone is ended up just walking oh down the aisle God. so for anyone who doesn't know the fake wedding is like it was an annual kind of rag week event that we done mm. uh, to raise money for for, for, for a charity um, and I suppose it was one th- that was the first thing you really took ownership of. No, because it, it, it was a random you... idea. We yeah. were just like yeah. in the summertime. We've never someone, done it before. No. Someone just randomly said it, like we should do a fake wedding, and I was like, I'll take that, and I was like, I'll do it. Yeah, but you look. I just that. thought it would be hilarious to do, mm-hmm. and it actually planner. turned out well. And we'd done it two years in a row, and then COVID. But. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's, good. Um, it's one of the fun events. I I, I really enjoy it. My my understanding was that there's about 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 positions. I'm oh, okay. Fifty positions in the. In like around wedding. 50 roles yeah so obviously as a fake wedding you've got the bride you've got the groom uncle okay. best man you grandparents, know, grandparents from both sides grandparents from both sides we got sides. exes are really good yeah we've yeah. got exes from both sides we've got pregnant exes we had everything yeah but the showstopper was so all the names went into a jar yeah. mm. it was like a lottery a lottery so basically you buy a ticket which means you're coming to the event and it goes towards charity. You put your hand in the jar, pull it out. Mm. The first person... To pull out a ticket. Now you think there's 50. Yeah. And of the 50, the two best positions is the bride and the groom. They're, they're, they're the biggest positions. And, and the, the first, first one ticket. was a girl. Yeah. yeah, and she pulled out bride. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was Svetlana. So it was, yeah. I was disappointed yeah. because... It was, it was, I was like, no, it's not, I couldn't tell anyone. It was over. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, no one else matters. No, but I didn't tell anyone yeah, that the bride was already gone. Because yeah. I was like, if I tell them, no one's going to buy a ticket. <laughs> so well, we didn't tell anyone that the bride was gone, but people still like really, really yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah, it was really good cool. And then the second year, the guys took it on uh, even Next more. Level. We did not host, and mm. there was people from other colleges around watching, like, can we join this? Very yeah. Funny, yeah. yeah. But then um, I think Kenny was a very good groom. Yeah, he, he was. was. I know Scandal well, was Scandal actually was ended up Scandal with was... the bride for like a while. <laughs> yeah. They dated afterwards. <laughs> they did, yeah. <laughs> So they really kind of so got wild, married yeah. in love, but they actually it's kissed like, yeah. at the aisle, and that was their dates. first kiss. Yeah, that was, yeah. yeah. They kissed at the aisle, so and then the day after, it was yeah, obviously yeah. So they full-on went, yeah. 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 Okay. They, they, really they didn't get married. That would have been real. That would have been yeah. Yeah. wild. Yeah. Full circle moment, but... Well, it, you know, could you imagine time. in the future we do, like, a cultural fake wedding? A cultural? Yeah. Yeah. So we could do a themed wedding from different cultures. Oh, like a, weddings are different, like in different Indian, cultures. Yeah. like an Indian Three one or an, an, an African one, or yeah, exactly, yeah, oh, yeah uh, that would be whatever. Cool. That would yeah, be really funny. That'd be mad, yeah. yeah, that would be. I suppose, yeah. I do think. So watch this. Space. We could bring it on. Like, I think it has to be narrated. So mm. I think that's what it's like. Someone that saying, "Enter yeah. the," you know, whatever, yeah. and like yeah. everyone has it. Yeah, you have to have the storyteller, and then everyone knows their parts, and they just mm. go along with it. Yeah, yeah. But um. Yeah, so that's it. That is very interesting. But back to the original question of what my favorite event was. It was the first awards night that I went to. Okay, well, I didn't go in my first year. I went to the second year when we were in the SU. That was my first awards night. That was unreal. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that was the that was Ball's Bridge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was that was really really. That good. was actually yeah. so so good. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. something else. It's uh, it's 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 very very it's warm in, in this room. So I don't know how much I'm longer melting. we have for our but first edition of the uh, yeah, of the, the podcast. Yeah, he can't stop looking at Hamza. He can't stop looking at. I don't even know if that's recording. I don't know if that is that linked to this. 
I'm not actually. I don't think it actually is. To be honest with you guys, so this, we're doing a podcast anyway. I know because I feel like we should be on that screen. If it's it not recording yeah. our faces. It's only Aww. recording the audio. Sorry, um, sorry for your loss, everyone. Yeah, <laughs> we are gorgeous in case just take you want Joanne's a word for it. Take, take yeah. Joanne's word. Um, but anyway, um, I suppose so. Then my next. So that that was very good. Obviously, the yeah. the awards night. Um, and what advice would you have? So let's say potential students are listening to this. Um, what advice would you have? Do um, everything. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. everything just go it doesn't matter if you don't know anybody yeah. everyone is so friendly just do mm. it yeah. get involved it's the only way you're going to find out mm. Mm. don't be afraid to try new things as well as cliche as that sounds but don't don't be afraid to try new things <laughs> and come on down to the car warehouse where ours is the way you just like the car warehouse you don't want to like, come on down come on we've got down. deals on we've got big sales I am one so I so you might be listening back to this. Iris is quite far away, so yeah. this is obviously picking up me very. Oh, that's um, interesting. Yeah. I didn't so, realize that. Well, so, so today is a trial just to see how mm-hmm. it's picking everyone up. So, like, if you're Iris, speaking, you if, mm-hmm. if you're speaking softly, <clears throat> if you're speaking softly, is it is it picking you up? Just go. Iris is gonna finish off by like, singing. No. <laughs> a ten guns. She's gonna sing <laughs> "Bad Habits" by Ed Sheeran. Go on. No, no. no. You love that. Song. That's for episode two. <laughs> oh, stay tuned. Watch Iris, face. It is. It is picking up, which is which is good. Which is good. I don't know. No, I don't think that's ASMR. Yeah. Oh, we should do a bit of the, you know, brushing the mic. Okay. ASMR stuff. Yeah. Oh, I just, just, just follow that on Johan's only hand. That should make any noises. Mm. So I hope you all heard that. Right. Um, another question. Mm, there you go. Wow. Yeah, so, wow. can, you, can you sign that stuff? No. You should actually. Um, on radio show. Like what sign else? What else? What else? I suppose to finish. Then I suppose a question I want to have with you guys um, is what is going to be the most exciting thing during induction so lots of new students might be listening to this um, what is the must for any student in the first three weeks of arriving to Dublin or to Dublin Business School what is they have to do one thing in DBS and one thing outside of DBS for each of us so one thing you have to do with us and one thing you have to do you know in your own little bubbles or your own little groups I would say anything along so the lines you, of a meet it, the one of the meetup series or an orientation mm. event. Mm. I would yeah. say go to that. Yeah. Uh, mainly because like you'll realize that when you come in on the first day, or even if you're returning and you're meeting your classmates for the first time after being online last year, mm. is that everyone's as lost and as confused mm. and as mm. nervous as you may think you are. Mm. And all you need is just one person to take that step forward and you'll see everyone else starts coming forward as well. Mm-hmm. So just, try and go to an event or an activity once a week. Yeah, just yeah. do it. And just yeah. to add to that, come come and see us. You know, come up to come up to our. Oh my God, oh, we're holding the mic now. now. Oh, come up to our office on the fourth floor. Come see us. Come ask what's going oh, on. on. Um, don't no. We have, we have a shared don't, mic. Don't uh, don't be afraid. We're there yeah. to kind of help you mm. find out. Definitely, yeah. Um, go to we'll go to all the welcome welcome parties. I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, because that's where you'll meet. I guess you're friends for life. Oh, oh, oh that was too much. That was me punching Ari. <laughs> 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 all those pockets of friendship. No, oh yeah, you'll have all your pockets of friendship. That's oh, the God. start of it. Oh, oh God, I got that quote from Adam, by the way. Oh, <laughs> yeah, pockets. quote Adam Crowther: "Pockets of friendship." Never said pockets. Oh, you yeah. said that all the time. Pockets of innovation. Yeah, he says pockets, pockets of inspiration. He means yeah. pockets of friendship. He's got a lot of pockets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of pockets. Um, okay, so to finish up. What is your one thing to do around Dublin, around Ireland that is not known to anyone? My, Bundoran. My one would be okay. Well, Bundoran, my one yeah. would be the nudist beach on. Oh Jesus! Um, oh, it's don't an experience and a half. It's, yeah. Come on. No. And, Michael, and you don't Michael, have to go to a nudist beach. You can just go to a beach and turn it into. No, a no, no, it's illegal. No. It's illegal. No. It's not illegal if whoa, you have to come. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That They're is illegal. They're no, he said if you go to any beach and just you get nude and make it a nudist beach. I did not. I just suggested it. She's actually saying. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Who am I? All my lawyers out there. All my lawyers. Students. <laughs> Look, the coast. Plenty of coastal areas in in, uh, yeah, in Dublin, the, which is plenty to enjoy. So just don't would, go in the winter. We would highly recommend. <laughs> just don't go in the winter. <laughs> it's not very flattering. Not for the lads. Oh so, uh, sorry, you said Bundoran, Bundoran. Joanne, yeah? yeah? That's in the north, northwest of Ireland, uh, yeah. lovely coastal area. You can yeah. do a lot of surfing there. What's your favourite thing about Bundoran? 
The apartment. <laughs> the monkey apartment. Did you even sew up there? Did you? <laughs> yeah, no, I no. there. I did do it last time. I did it for it. Don't paddle for it. Whatever no, I do. was thinking like a problem sewer. Yeah, yeah, no, at this stage, I'm just a head and, up one door yeah. and surf, surfed once. They're like, <laughs> she's a dick. And didn't to even really. We just took photos on the surfboard. Yeah, yeah, oh, like, yeah. Should I do this? Powerpuff girls. Literally. That's oh, all we good did. Good times. Oh, good so, times. Voico's taken. And Von Dawn is taken. Mm. Iris, you've got, you've got nothing left now. There's nothing left. No. No. There is, there is. Um, then you were in, Kill- you were I, down in Kerry, were you? Yeah, or? Kerry is a beautiful place. Killarney. There's so many nice little areas to go there. So many cute little pubs to go to. Mm. So definitely Killarney for me. And what about out in Drimlin? <laughs> in Brickfield Park. Brickfield Park is a good spot. Loads to do Up there. to Bricker. Uh, you've also Yo, got, well, you've got the War Memorial Garden. And That's also, actually lovely as well, Park. yeah. Okay. Okay, Hamza, you got the final word with you. I'll keep it a bit more local. So, if you want to go somewhere within Dublin, I think that uh, the Muck Rock in uh, Clontarf. You know, when you go up, there's like a little hike walk that you can do from the golf course in Clontarf. Hope. Or is it health? Sorry, oh, and health. Yeah. yeah. Like Deer so you can yeah. Oh, so Deer can, yeah, Park near is Deer nice. Park and you can walk That's up. Lovely. That's really nice. Or go to British Bay when it's a sunny day. It's yeah. the best beach, I think. Yeah. It'll be nice. Yeah. It's nice uh, soft sand. There's actually lots of forests up in Hull. Have you seen them all? Yeah, they're still yeah, going. They're every... going for a week and a half. Yeah. More. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. So long. Yeah. Aussie wildfires making their way. It's too never ending. There's like, yeah. the, I'm not sure if they just happen naturally or if they're trying to burn, burn the gorse fires. Oh, but it could be. Literally, every day there's fires happening. But well, I know they do controlled fires as well. Sorry, but yeah. just one last thing. Do you remember when we were looking at places to go do the student meetup series? Right. And then Hamza suggested going to Fingal. No, I think we cut it off here. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> oh, we were like, we'll go to Kalini. No, we'll no, do, it wasn't that. I said we'll that castle. Old, no, remember that castle? We'll I, I thought that castle was like around the corner. No, where was that castle with that beach? And I was like, can we go to that castle? And you're like, man, that's so far away. And I'm like, I didn't know that. I thought it was right on the corner. No, you <laughs> said, no, you said we go to Finglas. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. He loves doing Finglas. Finglas there is. Yeah. You can go horse riding at any moment. Yeah. Oh <laughs> it was a big uh, outdoor equestrian yeah, center. Just, yeah, oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> outdoor equestrian. <laughs> okay, so I suppose that's the conclusion of our, of our first student experience podcast. Um. This is, I suppose, an intro to student life, and it's nice to meet the team. Um, remember, you, you can contact us at, at any time. Mm-hmm. We're available on the student services Zoom, mm-hmm. and you can chat with us kind of regularly. Um, and obviously, connect with us on DBS Student Experience on social media. Um, great to have the guys here. Uh, it's a very hot day, so we're going to leave it there for today. And uh, hopefully, you'll be hearing more from us and the team and the rest of the students' union uh, on a weekly basis. And hopefully. We'll feature some of you students as well and we'll have a, a shared Absolutely. experience and oh, yeah. hear about where you're from and maybe we can learn about weddings from different countries yeah. and mm. you know everything else. And if you need any help, you can call Iris on 087. No! Joe Iris Barbados. We're going to do we're going to do in uh, proper Irish tradition it's sunny we're going to uh, I think leave work early today enjoy yeah. some sunshine and go yeah. for some points so uh, thanks Yo, for bye. Hey, uh, bye. Bye. See, see you soon bye bye